Welcome to this tutorial on how to set up Chart Builder for PHP. To start with, all you need to do is download the Chart Builder file, extract it to your folder, and then you've got your Chart, Index, and Library PHP files. In the config directory, you'll find a databases PHP file. All you need to do here is replace the example with your specific connection. So we'll call this the Movies Database is what I've got in my SQL. We'll get the database name. I'm running it on the local host. And for now I'm just running it under root and I don't have a password set so I'll remove those. And the database name is right there. That's really all you've got to do. You can set up multiple databases. This is the display name to the user and the rest of it is just the connection string. So you could have as many of these lines as you might need. So I'll save that. And uh, we're actually ready to go. So we'll go into Chrome here. And I've got it running on my local host in that Chart Builder full directory. And so as you can see here, you've got Chart Builder is uh, ready to go with the new chart. I'll type in the name that I want. So we'll just call this Movies by year and I select my database and as you can see here I've got that example connection as well as the movies I'll select the movies database and now I'll select the table in the database that I want in this case it'll be films chart builder supports several different kinds of charts we'll be adding more in future releases but uh, for now we'll go ahead and go with a, um, a stacked column the date-driven checkbox should only be checked if uh, your x-axis will actually be a date field. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. Uh, and in this case, in the database, release year is not technically a date field, so we don't need to check that off. But if you do check date-driven, then you have different date formatting options. Uh, you can go by day, month, uh, or year. And we will have uh, the series field, in this case, be rating. The value field, we're just going to count film ID. You can see we've got some average count, min, max, an optional SQL criteria, and we're basically ready to generate our chart. And there we go. So it's created the chart. Uh, you can see the SQL that it's produced here when it generates the chart, and we've got by year our uh, movies from the database. So to deploy this, it's pretty simple here. Um, down at the bottom you've got the URL for the chart so we can just copy that we could open it in a new tab and you can see it just as is it's basically just uh, a GUID that designates this particular chart you do have sizing options that you can pass in the parameters here and so all you need to do then is embed this in an iframe in whatever page you want so you can come up with a fairly complicated dashboard that might have quite a few different charts and graphs uh, coming from Chart Builder. And that's basically it. So we'll go ahead and set one up really quick. We'll paste in some options for our iframe, height and width, and we're ready to go. And there you go. So it's embedded. We called it just by calling the chart PHP file with that chart GUID and uh, you can of course resize it make it a lot uh, prettier. You can go look at your chart definitions when you have multiple charts. They're just stored in an XML file here and uh, you can adjust legends, position, title formatting, the grain. But Chart Builder handles all of the SQL behind the scenes, fetching the data from the database and putting it into the JSON format so you don't have to worry about that. Thanks for watching and contact support at opengate.sw.net if you've got any questions.